Hey everybody, in today's episode I'm testing out 91% isoprol alcohol versus your typical hairspray on removing permanent ink or marker. You could see here I'm going to be using a Sharpie and Sharpies are permanent. You can see it says permanent marker there and I'm going to be marking my own carpet and testing which one works better. I have a carpet cleaning friend out here in the area and he was telling me that he firmly believes hairspray. He keeps a can of hairspray on his truck and he gets marker and all kinds of stuff out. I told him, you know, I've always just kept a small bottle of isoprol alcohol, 91%, and it does the trick or even sometimes Windex. So let's have a look and you can get this as Equate, which is Walmart. I think it's $1.75 for that little um, bottle there. Let's look at the ingredients. You see the first ingredient is uh, alcohol. And then you go through, I'm not sure if there's any other ingredients in there that I think would remove um, or help with removing ink. I'm not sure. We'll find out together today. Maybe he's right. And I am using an Insta Freeze, which means it's it dries pretty quick. So normally what I would do is soak the spot down, let let some dwell time happen, and then just kind of tamp it out or use the back of your fist and pound up the solution. But I think on this one I'm going to have to kind of rub it because it's going to dry pretty quick. I'm not sure that that's going to affect the test results because you can see it's still in liquid form. And it is lightening. It's going to take a little bit of elbow grease, maybe a little more work. Using a simple microfiber cleaning cloth to absorb the solution and the ink off of my carpet. And so far, I'll stop there. That's one application. I'm not sure that that is... Well, I know I've used the 91% alcohol, and I, you'll be surprised. Watch what happens. If I can get this thing unscrewed, I'm using one hand. So, and then it is inert, which means it dries without any residue. It just, basically, it's a solvent. So you don't have to worry about putting too much. Um, dwell time is important. You want to let it dwell. For video's sake, I'm not going to let this dwell for very, very long. I'll, I'll just kind of uh, blot it up. And we'll see what happens, how much work's involved. We'll kind of tamp it a little bit. Give it a little scrub, and then we'll blot it up here. Okay. Voila. Instantly gone, like magic. So let's blot up the rest of the solution, get my knuckle prints off there, and you could see, completely gone, as opposed to the hairspray, which still needs a second app application. So let's give it another shot. Spray it down pretty liberally, try and keep it as wet as possible. And We'll hit it again with the cloth. This time, maybe we'll just kind of tamp it like we did the other one and see what happens. Okay, so it is coming up. It's lifting. It's going to take a lot more work uh, to get it out with the hairspray. I'm not sure what that will dry down to, how it will feel. I'll find out later. I still see a small bit of ink on there. Do you guys see that? Uh, yeah, I see it right up at the top. I'll show you here with the marker. You see it right there? So let's finish the job with my favorite. Put a little bit of isoprol alcohol, 91%. Uh, I'm not sure what the health rating is on this stuff, so just be careful. I wouldn't recommend filling up your solution tank and cleaning your carpets with it or filling up a pre-sprayer and spraying it all over the room. But as for a spotter, works just fine. Look at that, one blot, completely gone. 
So I'm going to have to send this link to my carpet cleaning buddy out here <laughs> and let him know. No disrespect. He's actually a truck mount guy. We refer business back and forth to one another, which is awesome. And so there you go. What do you guys think about this uh, ink removal? It'll work on red, blue, green, doesn't matter what color the ink is. And if it's not permanent, it'll come out even quicker. If it's permanent, you just want to give it a little dwell time. So there you have it for today's episode. The 91% isoprol alcohol comes out the victor, hands raised, and down goes the hairspray.